definition. Um, so, of course, there are a variety of possible definitions for microlearning, but for me, microlearning is really about a flexible learning approach. It can be used in a variety of different ways, but most importantly, it's intended to enhance individual and organizational performance. So there are a few key things here in this uh, approach that are important. One is that it's micro, okay, so we're talking small and focused. It's about learning, micro learning. So we're really focused on that learning aspect. And so learning we know is the acquisition of new knowledge, skills, and abilities. And performance. And for me, me again, this is what's key is that we are very much aligned with the desired result. You know, what is the organization looking to accomplish? And how can our micro-learning asset or solution really support that performance, drive performance, generate performance? So that's really, you'll, you'll see that throughout what we talk about today, is that it's really focused on performance. So a few things, though, about what microlearning is not. Uh, so we can just sort of dispel some myths and misconceptions uh, that are out there. But it's not a new concept. Again, this idea of learning and being focused and, and really taking small pieces, weaving those into an overall strategy is not necessarily a new concept, but it's something that we're looking to refine and, and expand. Microlearning is also not necessarily a fixed time period. So it's only one minute or two or five or seven minutes. That's really not the critical uh, aspect of it. Um, it's more about what the content is, what the objective is for that micro learning. It's also not intended to be just one format. You know, often, um, especially with how popular YouTube is now, that the automatic assumption um, out there could be that it's, uh, oh, we're talking about a quick video that people watch. Well, yes, that's one form of micro-learning, but there are many, many other types of e-learning that are possible. We also need to make sure that micro-learning is not necessarily appropriate to every situation. Um, and when we think, and we'll talk more about getting down to the task level, but it's not necessarily appropriate to every situation. And um, again, it's not just going in and saying, oh, okay, we have a, a one-hour course, let's chop it up into five-minute increments. It's not really, uh, that's not what microlearning is about. It's a, a much more in, intentional design process that we'll talk about. It's also not a single one-dose solution, um, it meaning that, uh, hey, here's your one micro learning and now you're good to go. That's not necessarily the case. And just imagine if uh, your airplane pilot uh, watched one two-minute video and then was ready to execute an emergency landing. Now, I'm not so sure that, uh, you know, that would be sufficient uh, one-dose solution uh, for that pilot, I'd much rather have them uh, experience a whole array of things uh, as part of their learning uh, process. And that we need to make sure that we're not confusing micro-learning uh, with performance support, you know, those resources that are available that we use uh, as part of performing a task, performing our job, you know, micro-learning is I learn and then I apply it, uh, whereas performance support is something I use while I'm doing that task. So just a, an important distinction between those two.